Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Sarah. I started this YouTube channel to document my journey becoming a single mother by choice and going through IVF as well as getting diagnosed with endometrial cancer and PCOS. Uh, so if any of those topics appeal to you at all, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell if you want to be updated anytime I upload new videos, which um, over the next several weeks will be very exciting videos, hopefully. Um, I just had my embryo transfer and um, I filmed a lot today uh, vlog style, so I'm going to insert clips um, of all of that um, here, but I just wanted to welcome you guys all to the video um, and let's get started. Good morning, it's transfer day and I'm eating my pineapple. Um, I'm gonna follow this old wives tale, even though there's really no scientific backing behind it. Pineapple does have bromelain in it, but um, it's, I take um, baby aspirin, so that basically does the same thing, but I'm gonna eat it anyways, cause I like pineapple. And Lily would like some pineapple too, but she won't get any. Oh my gosh, guys, it's transfer day. I am so, so, so excited. Um, I am on my way right now to a myofascia release appointment. Um, so I know in one of my previous videos, I talked about acupuncture, that I was gonna do acupuncture before and after my transfer. Um, but the acupuncturist um, closed down until April because she's like really freaked out about COVID. So that did not work out. And um, instead of finding a new acupuncturist, I have a friend who had a successful embryo transfer at the Cleveland Clinic um, about a year ago. Yeah, a little over a year ago maybe. Um, she has a beautiful little girl now. Um, and she did a myofascia release um, session before her transfer and it worked. So I'm going to the same lady. It's about seven minutes from the clinic um, over on the east side. So I'm looking forward to that. She said it feels really good. I've never had one of those before. Apparently it's supposed to like open up your pelvis and align things and um, have a lot of the same kind of benefits as acupuncture would. So, but I'm just so excited. So, uh, I will take you guys along for my journey today um, and I'll try to film as much as I can at every point in the day because um, I want to document this because I've been waiting for this for well like 30 34 years basically <laughs> so um, yeah I keep saying since I was four because I swear when I was four like I was just obsessed with baby dolls and and babies and stuff like that. So that's, I feel like that's when my call to motherhood really started. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will uh, go to this appointment. I have, I don't know if I ever talked about this before, but every single day I drink um, Daily Harvest. This is my absolute favorite one, the chocolate blueberry one. Um, it's all organic and vegan and non-GMO. And it's, um, this one has blueberry, banana, spinach, kale, almond, cacao, cacao and maca um, and I put two tablespoons of flaxseed in it every day as well as my inositol my second dose of inositol for the day um, took my supplements uh, yeah so I'm just I'm pumped so see you guys soon one other thing I wanted to talk about is um, I have forget if I talked about this in my PCOS video um, but about a year and a half ago I removed all um, or as many toxins as I could from my home and products that I use in the home and on my body um, as much as possible I know that it's impossible to like remove all toxins but um, the big thing is removing synthetic fragrances so um, I do not use anything with synthetic fragrances at all. Lotions, um, shampoo and conditioner, I just recently switched over. That took me more time to like get away from uh, 
uh, the synthetic fragrances and because I do love good smelling shampoo and good smelling hair but today I did not use that um, I and now that I'm going to be pregnant as of today I am not going to use anything with synthetic fragrances even shampoo and conditioner so um, I feel like that's really important to minimize exposure to the developing fetus so I just wanted to add that um, that I feel strongly about that okay guys I'm done with the myofascia release appointment um, it went well she said that I really wasn't in bad shape that most everything was pretty aligned already so she just did some like release stuff with my pelvis a little bit with my head um, so that was really cool um, everything was so subtle like all the touches were so subtle um, so it was very relaxing but I didn't feel a whole lot although uh, she's and she said that this was normal but I felt like as I had my smoothie on the way there like I felt a lot of gurgling and stuff in my stomach so she said that was really good that that was happening so that's good um, and then I went to the pharmacy and picked up a refill of my progesterone and oil shots and estrogen patches called uh, those in before the end of the year again I'm totally blown away that my insurance covers those prescriptions but they were covered at a hundred percent so um, that was awesome and now I'm like killing some time and I'm really hungry so I have been craving corned beef um, so I got a Slimans corned beef sandwich, which if you're from the area, apparently it's the best. I've never had Slimans before, but I've heard amazing things. So um, I just got a small one and I hear they're huge. So actually let's open it. <laughs> um, I got just one sandwich and I'll probably only eat half of it. Um, cause I just took a bunch of, a bunch more supplements. So I just wanted to have something in my stomach and I brought a bunch of healthy stuff with me and I just don't feel like any of that. So I'm going to have half of the sandwich. And also I know when you're pregnant, you're not allowed to have deli meat, which is going to be sad for me cause I really like deli meat. So it's like my final hurrah with this. Um, oh shoot. Is there mustard in here? I do not see mustard in here. I'm going to have to go back in. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Darn it. I have to go back in to get the mustard. Okay, here we go. Mustard. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally worth it. This is a great day. Okay, that corned beef sandwich was delicious. Um, so you're supposed to have a full bladder when you go in for an embryo transfer, um, and they tell you to drink 16 to 20 ounces of water an hour before transfer. Um, hold on, I'm gonna have to put this in, oh wait. Um, I have to measure out. So Dr. H, um, who is a member of our community that comments a lot on my videos, uh, commented on one of my last videos, uh, the instructions that she found online, um, to have a perfectly full bladder and not feel like you're going to explode, um, during your embryo transfer. So, uh, I'm going to chug this and then I will explain. Okay. So, the instructions are to empty your bladder an hour, sorry, an hour and a half before embryo transfer, which I did after my myofascial release appointment, went to the bathroom, and then an hour before transfer, drink eight ounces of water, just eight ounces of water. So I brought um, this little shaker cup that has ounce me measurements on it. So. Um, and my trusty hydro flask that I love. So I poured eight ounces in here, drank that an hour before, and then drink another eight ounces. Unless you really have to go to the bathroom, you're, you should drink another eight ounces about a half hour before transfer. So I just drank that. So let's see, I'm about eight minutes away 
from the clinic and I will be about eight minutes early if I leave right now. So I'm gonna go. I have to be there at 1.30 and my transfer is at 1.45. And I'm really, really, really excited. I also just wanted to share with you guys that I've been listening other than the times that I'm talking to you. I have been listening to a playlist on Spotify um, that was played um, at a Tony Robbins Date with Destiny event um, in 2019. The music that is played at Tony Robbins events um, has a big effect on my state and it just makes me, like takes me instantly back to the feeling that um, I felt at these events um, and it's just an amazing state. So I have been listening to that music to get me in the right frame of mind and just be like super excited and I have just let go of all fears um, of anything not working the way it's supposed to. Everything is just going to go perfectly and I am confident in that and I'm so excited. Um, I think I've said that already. So yeah. Wow, it does look really good yeah. compared to that. <laughs> I guess that's really good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It grows pretty quickly in you, though. So that bright spot mm -hmm. there is a drop of fluid with the embryo, right where it belongs. Okay. You're just going to check the catheter back in the embryology lab really quick. So you're going to flush some fluid and air through it just to make sure that the embryo didn't stick to the catheter itself. Okay. It's rare that it happens, but we always make sure. I'm done and it went perfectly they said it was like the smoothest transfer ever maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit but they said it was really smooth it went really smoothly uh, the catheter went in right away they had no issues um, they said my embryo looked amazing actually I have a picture I can show you it's already hatching so they said that's really good 
so that is my embryo um yeah i feel it's so weird because i feel it feels surreal right now like i just oops, i just can't fathom that i'm pregnant right now and i know that i have to wait for the hcg test to really know that it's you know that it a that it worked and if it did work that it's not a chemical pregnancy hoping my hcg level is high um but as of right now i just i i'm so happy i'm just so happy i just feel so good about it but it still hasn't like kicked in like i thought i'd be crying by now and i haven't yet but um i yeah i have this like overwhelming feeling of happiness and relief i was so glad my embryo thawed properly um and that it just went so smoothly and my bladder was perfectly full they said that everything looked perfect in that respect so that trick that dr h shared with us was perfect i don't know why i'm calling her dr h serena <laughs> um so yeah so i am going to head home actually i have to go to my uh dad and stepmoms to pick up my dog Lily and Lily and I are gonna cuddle all night and uh but on the way home I have to stop and get McDonald's french fries even though there is absolutely no reason for me to other than it's just tradition um so obviously the old wives tale is to eat McDonald's french fries after a transfer that's more for a fresh transfer because salty foods can help prevent OHSS obviously I already had OHSS this isn't a fresh transfer I did a frozen transfer so the salty food thing is null and void at this point but who doesn't like a little McDonald's french fry right so I'm gonna do it Hi, I'm um, I will have a medium fry. That be all for you? That is it. Alright, this will be a 269 personal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, you too. So excited. I love McDonald's fries. They're my favorite fries. As long as they're fresh and salty. So let's see. pretty good. Almost perfect, I'd say. I earned these. So I just got home a little bit ago um, and I had my McDonald's fries uh, the rest of the way home and they were delicious. Um, and I'm feeling really good. I'm just excited and I know each day I'll probably get like more and more um, nerve-wracking waiting for the test um, but as of right now I feel like I'm gonna be okay um, keeping myself busy and just trusting that it worked so um, one thing that I know I showed you guys so they gave me um, the picture of my embryo of course which I showed you earlier um, but they also gave me the petri dish um, that my embryo was in this morning so I thought that was really kind of cool I mean it doesn't look like there was anything in here this looks like completely clean but apparently my embryo was in here so that's cool um, so I will um, post another video about my experience with the progesterone and oil shots, but I really just wanted to make this video all about um, my frozen embryo transfer. So um, I will say that it was not uncomfortable at all. I mean, it basically just feels like a normal pap smear that just lasts a little bit longer. You know, just the pressure and uncomfortableness of um, the forceps or whatever they're called um but it really went by pretty quickly and it was just a really cool experience and they said um that
that it went perfectly smoothly. Um, they got the catheter in right away. I forget if I already said all of this in um, the footage in my car, I might have. Um, but yeah, I'm just really pleased that everything went perfectly and um, now we wait. <laughs> so, oh, I wanted to show you my shirt. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, it says, I, it says, I've got this, IVF got this, get it? <laughs> um, so I am going to open my embryo gender envelope tonight. And I'm going to film my reaction on here so I can post it in the future. I'm just not sure when I'm going to reveal the gender. It'll definitely be after um, my beta test, which is January 18th two weeks from today um but I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait till like 12 weeks or what I just don't know because I'm going to reveal my gen the gender to like everybody friends and family and social media at the same time I reveal it to you guys just because I mean it's funny because I feel like I want to reveal it to you guys <laughs> um now when I find out um but I'm just not ready to like share with friends and family yet so in case any friends and family watch this, I probably have to wait. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna open that now and I'm really excited. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna react, but I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go sit on the couch and cuddle with Lily and watch some funny stuff on TV, which is odd for me because I normally only like very disturbing things to watch um because I'm a weirdo but yeah comedies are not my thing at all so it's gonna be interesting but I'm gonna try to watch some comedy because apparently you're supposed to laugh a lot uh to help implantation so I'm doing all the things so I hope you guys have a wonderful day um or night or wherever you are whenever you're watching this um and I really cannot thank you all enough I've gotten so many like DMs on Instagram and comments on my videos and you guys are all like wishing me some sticky baby dust and um, sending me all the good vibes and positive vibes and I just was overwhelmed with the amount of love and support I've gotten from all of you and this little community that we're developing and it just means the world to me to have you guys and share all of these exciting moments with you so thank you thank you thank you thank you i really can't thank you enough i love all you guys um i will see you very soon